Okay. So here we are talking to uh, trying to talk about classification of the spectrum of breast diseases. So you can have a different, different, different a lot of breast diseases. But I'm trying to say that these breast diseases they can have an easier way in which you can just classify them. Okay. So for the breast diseases, um, you can have the classification under what disorders of development. Okay. Disorders of inflammation. Okay. Problems with benign epithelial lesions. So you can have what non-proliferative breast changes. You can have breast uh, proliferative breast uh, diseases with atypia. Non-proliferative simply means probably you have like a a problem in the breast, but the problem is not growing large. That's non-proliferative. Proliferative without atypia simply means you have a condition in the breast is getting large, but it's not becoming atypical from the normal cells of the breast. Proliferative breast disease with atypia simply means you have a breast problem and it is now showing up so different from the normal cells of the breast. Okay, then you can also have the neoplasias, right? Those are the cancers, it could be benign or malignant. Okay, now other diseases of development which we just listed here you can have amasia or polymasia, you can have gynecomasia, you can have milk line. Sorry, this is line milk line remnant you can have atelia or polytelia under inf the inflammatory conditions you can have what acute mastitis you can have periductal mastitis you can have mammary duct ectasia you can have fat necrosis you can have granulomatous mastitis you can have the lymphocytic mastopathy also known as what sclerosing lymphocytic lobulitis of course this that should be inflammation of the lobules of the breast. Other non-proliferative breast changes, you have fibrocytic changes, lumpy bumpy, have dense breast with cysts, have lactational adenoma. Under proliferative diseases with atypia, you can have what epithelial hyperplasia, you have sclerosing adenosis, you have complex sclerosing lesion that's a radial scar, you have papilloma. A fibroadenoma that have some complex features. The other, the proliferative disease with atypia, we have the atypical ductal hyperplasia, we have the atypical lobular hyperplasia. Okay, so that's also for the spectrum classification of breast diseases.